Hi, it's Carol from bookreporter.com and I'm here to share what you're going to see on the site on Friday, November 8th. Who remembers The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern that came out in 2011? Well, she's back and she has a new book called The Starless Sea. Starless Sea is a story about a young man who is sitting in a college library and he opens a book and it's a book about himself. And it's really got a lot of the true facts about him and what is happening in his life. But it's really, really interesting to read because the book actually predates him. So what's going on here? Ah, it's a bit of magical realism. Just what you would expect from Erin. We're looking forward to sharing it with you and to see what readers have to say about it. Next from Mary Higgins Clark. Kiss the girls and make them cry. Do you recognize that? Georgie Porgy, nursery rhyme. She always has nurse, books that are based on nursery rhymes or titles that are based on nursery rhymes or you know, well-known song classics. When investigative journalist Gina Kane receives an email from C. Ryan describing her terrible experience while working at REL, a high-profile television news network, including the comment, and I'm not the only one, she knows she has to pursue the story. But then Ryan goes silent. And Gina is shocked to discover the young woman has died tragically in a jet ski accident while on holiday. So what's really going on? Well, Mary Higgins Quark, the queen of suspense, is going to take you on that journey. From Jojo Moyes, we've got The Giver of Stars. This book is set during the Depression. And what we have here are five women who travel on horseback that are delivering books. They're the horsewomen. And bringing books through uh, Appalachia and Kentucky during the Depression and delivering the books to people. And it's their story. And as you can imagine, Giver of Stars hmm, aren't book stars to all of us. Speaking of stars, we've got Lisa Jewell's latest book, The Family Upstairs. In this, we've got a young woman that comes racing home. She's very, very excited. She's finally going to find out who her family is. And it's something that's been unknown to her for years. She opens an envelope. She finds out. She finds out she's also inherited a beautiful home. Well, actually not a beautiful home. It's a big home. It's kind of like decrepit and kind of worn down. But she's really excited about this. But there are other people involved as well. So with Lisa Jewell, you know it's going to be creepy. It's going to be twisty. It's going to be turny. And it's going to be one great thriller. Had the pleasure of interviewing her a couple of times when she was over from London. Looking forward to reading this one as well. And next, we have Ordinary Girls, a Memoir by Jakira Diaz. I read about 50 pages of this book a couple of months ago and absolutely loved it. It's set in both Puerto Rico and Miami. And it's a story about migration. It's a story about a family with a lot of issues and a young girl who's struggling to keep everything together while she's dealing with her own family issues, her own identity, and what's going on. I'm going to read a quote on the back of from here from Julie Alvarez which says, it's a powerful memoir, heart-wrenching, inspiring, thoroughly engrossing. Through one family's story, we learn about the challenges of poverty, migration, uprootedness, addiction, sexism, racism, but she also about the triumph, spirited storyteller who survives to tell the tale. And I think that really sums up just what I'd read in those 50 pages. Just a great voice on this book, something I'm really looking forward to sharing with you. I'll have my bets on copy about The Deserter by Nelson DeMille and Alex DeMille. As you know, I love this book, which is set in Venezuela, a country where I knew very little about, except that it used to have oil and it doesn't have much anymore and the lights aren't on very much anymore. So why don't you take two characters, put them in this country and tell them they've got to sign, find somebody who's been on the run from Afghanistan and from the army and has walked away and they're out to find him. So what's going to happen? I mean, it can't be that hard. After all, it's only Venezuela. And I'll also be sharing a recipe. I've been trying some new things in the kitchen this fall. So I'll be sharing that with you this week as well. Now remember, we need you to like, share, and comment about these videos because we really want to hear what you're thinking, including which of these books you're most interested in reading. Thanks so much. See you on Friday.